Greetings, everyone. I welcome you once again in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And I am Brother Scott Messenger, bringing you another Baptist Bread Daily Devotional. Amen. And today is Friday, May 24th. And the title today is Our Banner. Our Banner. Amen. Our Banner. And the verse is from Numbers 152. And it says here, And the children of Israel shall pitch their tents, every man by his own camp, and every man by his own standard throughout their hosts. Numbers 152. Amen. And the uh, author for today's devotional is LP, which is short for LP. Let's see here. Where is this? Uh, LP, uh, Luke uh, Putnam. Luke Putnam. He is an extension minister from Providence Baptist College. In Eglin, Illinois, E L G I N, Eglin. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but that's where he's from. Amen. So let us get into the topic of our banner. And a brother in Christ, uh, Brother Bill, he uh, does scripture songs along with Brother Dean Runyon. And he's another person that does scripture songs. And he sent me a good little thing about uh, the topic from yesterday which was symbols of truth and this i guess goes along with yesterday's talking about uh, thou hast given a banner to them that fear thee that it may be displayed because of the truth selah and so we should wave our banner of the lord wave the lord's banner amen and go out there and be soldiers for the lord for jesus christ amen Praise God that we can go out there and do that. So let's raise our banner high for Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. So here we go into the topic, our banner. It says here, the custom of family crests and tribal standards is centuries old and it holds great historical significance. This practice goes further back than first century Europe. The custom of family and household insignias was begun by God himself when he instructed the children of Israel to have a standard for each of the twelve tribes. And yes, we should have standards too. Our standards should be higher than high. Amen. Our standards should be the Lord's standards. Amen. So this standard was to go before them as they marched toward the promised land. What did these standards represent? First of all, these standards represented distinction. By each standard, one tribe was distinguished from another, and the nation of Israel was distinguished from heathen nations. So we are to be distinguished so people know who we are and who we represent as ambassadors for Christ. So that's the first uh, thing. Secondly, these standards represented a common cause. Each family or tribe could unite under a banner and march in the same direction. <laughs> do we do that as Christians, march in the same direction? A lot of times we're marching in different directions or bumping into each other, and we should be like, oh, we should be going the same way. Oh, hey, <laughs> yeah, don't bump into each other. So let's all go the same way as uh, Christians, as fellow believers in Christ, amen? So each family or tribe could unite under a banner and march in the same direction in times of war and yes we are in a war we're in a battle every day with the spirit spiritual battle amen so we need to fight all the time they uh so in times of war there could be no unity without that banner in times of peace there was fellowship uh, among the tribes under the common banner so again, in, in times of war, there were, could be no unity without that banner. In times of peace, there was fellowship among the tribes under the common banner. God has given us his banner. Amen. Marching orders under God's banner demand separation from the world and separation to God. So it's not just enough to be separated from the world, but we're to be separated to God. So separate ourselves from those worldly carnal things and separate ourselves to God. Amen. And 2 Corinthians 6:17 says, 
Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. God's banner has been established because of his truth. Amen. The truths of God must never be compromised. Yeah, we should never compromise God's truth for uh, just because we want to try to fit in with people. Marching under God's banner also demands our unity and dedication to his cause. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Nope. <laughs> Amos 3.3 3. As we fight the good fight of faith, we must be sure to stay faithful to the truth under God's banner. Amen. So let us fight the good fight, and then we must be sure to stay faithful to the truth under God's banner. Amen. So there you have it. Let's uh, carry God's banner high. Jesus Christ. Amen. Lift it up above everything else. Amen. And then we got the word, the word of truth right here. Amen. So this is what we go by, the Bible. Amen. All right. So and that being said, let us open up to John chapter 8, and we will finish John chapter 8 today. And that was our topic for today was our banner. And it kind of went along with yesterday's, the symbols of truth. Amen. So now let's get us into the Bible reading for this morning. John chapter 8, verses 28 through 59. So starting in verse 28, and it says here, as we uh, continue on, Then said Jesus unto them, When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself. But as my Father hath taught me, I speak these things. And so if you want to know the entirety of of what's going on here you go back into the first part of the chapter amen and can read it for yourself or you can get on to my scope that i did yesterday and follow along all right so he's continue on here what he from what he said yesterday about him being the the life and the light amen so all right so he says again uh then said jesus unto them when ye have lifted up the son of man then shall ye know that i am he and that I do nothing of myself, but as my Father uh, hath taught me, I speak these things. And he that sent me is with me. The Father hath not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. Yeah, amen. And we should do all these things that please him, as Jesus does. As he spake these words, many believed on him. Then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him, if ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Amen. They answered him, We be Abraham's seed, and were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou ye shall be made free? Because you're not free if you're uh, in sin, and you're in bondage if you're in sin. <laughs> but Jesus will make you free. When you trust him as your savior. Jesus answered them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin, as I was just mentioning. And the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth, for, uh, abideth ever. If the son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me because my word hath no place in you. I speak that which I have seen with my father, and ye do that which ye have seen with your father. They answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus saith unto them, If ye were Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. But now ye seek to kill me, a man that hath told you the truth, which I have heard of God. That this did, this did not Abraham. Ye do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, We be not born of fornication. We have for one father, even God. Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, ye would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do ye not understand? My speech. 
even because ye cannot hear my word. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Which of you convinceth me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do ye not believe me? He that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then answered the Jews, and said unto him, Say we not well that thou art a Samaritan, and hast a devil? Jesus answered, I have not a devil, but I honor my father, and ye do dishonor me. And I seek not mine own glory, there is one that seeketh and judgeth. Verily, verily, I say unto you, If a man keep my saying, he shall never see death. Then said the Jews unto him, Now we know that thou art hast a devil. Abraham is dead, and the prophets. And thou sayest, If a man keep my saying, he shall never taste of death. Art thou greater than our father Abraham, which is dead? <laughs> yeah, he is. <clears throat> and so... And then he says, And the prophets are dead, whom, whom makest thou thyself? Jesus answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my Father that honoreth uh, me, of whom ye say that he is your God. Yet ye have not known him, but I know him. And if I should say, I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you. But I know him, and keep his saying. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it, and was glad. Amen. Then said the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? And here Jesus says, And Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I am. Then took they up stones to cast at him, because Jesus but, or, but Jesus hid himself, and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed by. Hmm. So Jesus is the I Am, and he was before Abraham, because he is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending, amen? And he's the only one that can save your soul from hellfire and dying in your sin. Praise God. So, there you have it. If you have not put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ... You need to do so today, because he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by him. Hallelujah. So, hope you trusted him today. And if you're a believer in Christ, I uh, hope these uh, devotions are an encouragement to you and help you to keep going and keep serving him. And let's get out there and tell people about what he did on the cross for us and raise our, ba our banner high. Amen. So... That is today's topic, and I will wrap it up here. And uh, for before I go, let me give you the evening reading. Uh, it would be from 1 Chronicles 22, 23, and 24. So 1 Chronicles 22 through 24. So I hope you'll get into your Bible sometime today and this evening and read it and study it. And hope you'll get a blessing from the Word of God. Amen. Because it's all right here what God wants us to know. How He wants us to be saved. It's his will that all men be saved. I mean, not all men will be saved because a lot of them don't want to receive Jesus as their Savior, but it's his will that all men be saved and none perish. So I hope you'll trust him today. And then he wants us to live a Christ-like life as, as long as we're on this earth and do what he says and obey him. And Brother James is going through some rough stuff and judges right now, so... It's a lot of convicting stuff, so if you have a chance to listen to that stuff, it's good, good uh, stuff to get into, amen? So, hope you'll go listen to those sermons, and until next time, I am Brother Scott, and I am wrapping this up, and we'll be back tomorrow for the topic of tomorrow is sometimes it is pride before a fall, so sometimes it is pride before a fall, uh-oh. So, pride. Gotta watch out for that pride. Alright, well, you all have a great and wonderful rest of your day. And remember, Jesus saves. Believe on Him. 
All right. Well, bye-bye for now.